Hey Unity devs, have you ever wanted to quickly add a Vector2 and a Vector3 together? But you just can't because a Vector2 is a different class than a Vector3. And you can see this if I go back to Unity, I'll get an error that says you can't add a Vector2 a Vector three and a Vector2 together, so just don't try. Well, wouldn't it be cool if we could do something like this, 2 a Vector2. So we could just quickly convert this Vector3 into a Vector2 so it'll add just fine. Well, ordinarily we would open up the vector3 class and add in a new function called to vector2, uh, but we can't do that because that's built into Unity and we don't have the source code for it. However, we can add this function for all vector3s that we work with. We can do that with something called an extension method. If I right click in Unity, make a new C -sharp script and call it whatever, and I open that up. I can create a new extension method for a vector th for the vector three class, uh, which will uh, give us. Uh, oh, and I just deleted all that stuff because we don't need it um, for what we're gonna what we're about to make. We're gonna need a public static class. So that means the static just means that it's public to uh, a class as a whole. We don't need to put this in the scene anywhere to be able to access the functions that are in it. Uh, and we're going to want to make a public static void to vector2. Uh, so that's this. Now an extension method needs to have some interesting arguments that we don't normally give to regular functions. And that is this, so that means this uh, vector3 right here. So we're going to pass in this object, which is of type vector3, and we'll just call it a vec3. Uh, and in here, we're going to want to return. Uh, actually, we're not going to want to make this a void function. We're going to want to make it a vector2 uh, return type. So uh, this function uh, will be called on a vector3, pass in that vector3, uh, and return a vector2. So really simple. We're just going to return a new vector2. Uh, and the new vector2 is just going to be our vec3.x and our vec3.y. Now if I go back to this script, you can see that that uh, is no longer read, meaning that's a valid call. And if I go back to Unity, I have this script on an empty game object up here. So my sum vector 3 is 222, or 22 some random digit because the z doesn't matter. And then my vector 2 is a 00. zero. Uh, and in here we're just getting a 11 one vector and adding it to this, and that will be my vector 2. So if I hit play, we should see 3-3. Three, three. And that's a uh, just a quick tip on how to make extension methods. Uh, it can be applied to any class that you make or any class that already exists. So I hope this quick tip was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe if it was. And don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, my website, devination.com, all that stuff. I'll always update those media outlets whenever I publish a new tutorial video. So thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you next time.